His name's Craig, Daniel Craig. He had always impressed as an under-the-radar supporting actor in a few solid films before he broke out as Hollywood's favourite secret agent, James Bond. From 2000 onward, Daniel was a frequent fixture in Hollywood, appearing in 2001's Lara Croft, Tomb Raider, Road to Petition in 2002, and most notably Sylvia in 2003. He was seen opposite Adrian Brody in a jacket before announcing that he'd signed on to become super spy James Bond for the next three films in the long-running series. The 2004 British gangster thriller Layer Cake saw him jump onto the radars of Hollywood heavyweights before he was chosen to succeed Pierce Brosnan in the James Bond franchise. Fans were outraged when he was cast, but when Casino Royale was released, everyone changed their tune and the film was the second highest grossing Bond film of all time. Praised in some quarters as the best Bond since Sean Connery, Daniel admitted that it was an opportunity that he couldn't turn down, no matter how daunting the challenge may have been. A very a huge challenge, but a very a, a one that you know was very exciting and something that when I'd when I'd read the script and, and, and realised what they wanted to do and how they wanted to approach it, that I couldn't turn it down. I had to do it. His talents were again showcased in 2006's Infamous, opposite Sandra Bullock and Gwyneth Paltrow, before he teamed up with Nicole Kidman in his Dark Materials, The Golden Compass, and The Invasion. Daniel Craig has gone on to become a popular leading man and one of the most charismatic on-screen stars.